This is uh, taxi vlog 388. Hopefully there's enough light here. Um, I'm uh, sitting in a parking lot of a big car dealership and the reason I'm doing this or have I got this right? Yeah, I hope I got this right. The light didn't come on but hopefully it's bright enough here. The reason I sit here is because it's bright enough to read by and uh, I have a glass top here and I have this book, still have this book, uh, Great North Road by Peter F. Hamilton. I'm on page 536, no, 636, and there's 926 pages, I think, of the whole thing, so maybe another week, maybe another week and a half, depending on how much YouTube there is. I've seen all the YouTube uh, that I'm subscribed to up to this point in time. It is 11.38 p.m. on the 27th of January. So yeah, last week of January, what happens is it gets quiet because people have all received their credit card bills from a month ago, from Christmas. And so they have no disposable income. My Monday night was good because I, it was slow, but I had some long trips in there that went a good distance. Like, um, you know, I'm sitting here at four in the morning and I'm kind of dozing off and then, oh yeah, that's another thing. I have a coffee going right here just to keep me awake a little longer. Uh, the boredom is killing. Well, I'm not bored. I'm keeping my mind occupied with things like, you know, reading a book or, or uh, watching YouTube or whatever. But uh, no business for an hour at a time is not much. Uh, I was fifth in zone before I went to get this coffee. Uh, do an update on my position here. I'm now second. Oh, my goodness cars moved or they disappeared or whatever Monday night yeah it came out and it uh, ended up being very good uh, for a Monday night for a slow Monday night I took a hundred dollars home which was which was fine which was great and uh, I didn't people were good the trips were good my night turned out okay. One of those trips, for example, I was beginning to tell you about. Did I say it's Taxi Vlog 388? I think I did. Um, got sent to Mayfair Mall, which is a mall just like just down the road from here, maybe a quarter mile away. And I got sent to their taxi stand there. And there were these two pretty young girls just dressed in... Uh, well, you know, they, they had, like, uh, skirts or shorts or whatever. But anyway, you could see a fair amount of skin. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, for this time of year, you would think they would have, like, uh, leg warmers and, you know, jackets and stuff. But no, they were, like, party dresses or whatever. Or party skirts or... I don't know. They were dressed uh, scantily for the weather. And uh, they said to me that they had been walking since downtown and they wanted to go to West Shore. Now, West Shore is way out in the western communities. It's a great big mall out there. And at that mall, it's... Um, am I framed really well or badly? Let's see if that is better. Um, I went to that the mall out there, which was like a $35 trip from where we were, which was great. And uh, just having things like that happen, or, uh, you know, it makes a big difference. And then I had a couple of, you know, most of the fares were $10, $10, $10, $10, $10. But you get enough of those, and uh, you're doing okay. Uh, last night, I had a trip right away when I started. And it was a good one. It went, like, you know, almost the other end of town. And it was like... Almost thirty dollars. I'm going. Fantastic. Well, I think it took an hour to get another trip, which was ten dollars. Okay, I had forty dollars on. And it took two hours for the next trip, which was another thirty dollar trip. So it was okay. And around midnight, you know, I figured, okay, midnight, I break even. 
I got my lease and fuel on, and then by 1.30, I had a little more. I had, you know, lease and fuel and maybe $35 on at 1.30, and then that was it. I got nothing till 4.30. Was it 4.30? Anyway, I think I sat for three or four hours. I sat a long time waiting for something to happen. Yeah, 12.30 to 4.30. Four hours I sat waiting, 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 waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. And, you know, you think, after waiting that long, what's going to happen? Note, as of December 1st, ICBC, your fault deductible is now $1,000. Drive safe. See what useless information we have to get. This has been on there since December. Actually, November. End of November. And they still have the same message. Comes up about two or three times a shift. And there's one shift that's... One message that's been coming on for... Like, almost a year now about smoking being illegal in vehicles and that you'll be suspended if you're smoking, caught smoking in a taxi. Now I got one more call at 4.30 yesterday morning and it was to uh, the old folks home that was just on the other side of Uptown Mall from here. Um, if you want to do Google Earth, you know, I'm on Oak Street at the Suburban Motors, the back lot where all the pickup trucks are parked. Anyway, I, like I said, I come here because of the bright light and the glass top and it's easy to read and it's nice and pleasant. The guy I got was from the old folks home on the other side of Uptown Mall. And where did he go? The Tim Hortons on Ravine Way, which was basically around the corner, over the little bridge, and like right there it is. Basically around the corner, over the little bridge, and around the other corner. The fare was $4.45. And he said, I'd walk, but I'm not, I'm not doing too good these days. This is a really old guy. He was hard of hearing, obviously, because he says, a nice little car. And I go, well, I hate it. And he didn't react to me saying that. And I tried to explain why I don't like it, but he didn't hear anything I said. Um, anyway, we got him to uh, to where he was going, uh, to the Tim Hortons. Well, yeah, I, I got Tim Hortons again, right? There it is, Tim Hortons. Um, and it was $4.45. And... He wanted to add a dollar tip. So 545 to take this guy basically around two corners. And that's because when you turn the meter on, it's three and a quarter right away. Or is it? I think so, yeah, three and a quarter. So it didn't even add up two dollars in distance. Um, and so, you know, he paid me and gave me that big dollar tip. And then I came back to the parking lot and I finished a chapter I was reading and I was contemplating what to do. I wanted to get an early start at Backfit. So I, I pulled the plug at, you know, 20 to 5, 20 to 6, sorry. And um, took the car, washed it, washed the mats, vacuumed everything out of here, cleaned the kick plates with some something that resembles wet ones, moist towelettes. It's for car detailing. So that the kick plates, the black kick plates, weren't all, you know, dirty and dusty and muddy from people's boots. Smoking in cabs is both against the CRD rules, taxi bylaw, and company policy. If you are caught, you will be taken down. That's the message I was talking about. Son of a bitch. They got nothing better than to put this shit on here. 
what to do when you're bored. Well, I'm not really bored. I got a book to read. But I figured this was a good time to, you know, tell you about my week so far. So, my grand total take home yesterday, which was the Tuesday night, is $40. And tonight, I'm still short. It's halfway through my shift. I've had six fares. That's one fare an hour. Maybe I'll get six more. Maybe I'll get less than that towards the end. Well, let's see what kind of... Most of it was this Interac and um, Taxi Taxi Savers. There's one for $10. And I had one earlier for $17. This guy was... Uh, he had, I think, artificial limbs, uh, fake legs. And he was going around with a walker, but he went skiing for the day. He was kind of disappointed that the uh, rain came and sort of rained out his skiing day. And he's hoping for colder weather next week so that um, it won't rain when he's uh, skiing so that it will actually snow so 17 and 10 27 27 and 6 6 dollars so 33 dollars and another 17 dollars so 33 40 50 50 dollars in charges fifty dollars in charges and I have twenty thirty five so what did I say fifty dollars and thirty five that's eighty five dollars but five of these dollars was in coins so eighty dollars and it's a ninety dollar lease for tonight ninety five dollar lease for tonight so I need to make 15 more dollars in order to get my lease together and I don't think the fuel will cost more than about eight bucks because the fuel is down it's under a dollar a liter and it's been under it's 97.9 cents but still that's that's really good considering where it has been in the past I guess you know when the barrel of oil goes down on the world market it takes a little while for it to catch up with us here still compared to other places our gas is expensive I think somebody said something like 79 cents uh, in Saskatchewan and in the States it's like uh, I don't know what a dollar 80 or something for a gallon now a dollar 80 a gallon that would be like you know 50 cents a liter here or is it that low I forget what they said I'm just talking through my hat right now. I just know that I gotta make at least 25 more dollars to break even. And it is 10 minutes to midnight right now. Midnight is the halfway mark of the shift. And I got an entertaining book to read. It's looking pretty grim, guys. Pretty damn grim this last week of January and February is usually a hard month. Good thing I got my rent in the bank. <laughs> I got a f food in my fridge and I got my laundry done. And I got some cheap whiskey to drink. Life could be a lot worse. I still got a place to live. Uh, you know what? If anything memorable happens tonight, I'll come back and tell you about it. <laughs> but right now, it's looking like it's going to be more of the same. But like I said, if something memorable happens, I'll tell you about it. If not, I'll be back here to talk about the Thursday and the Friday, either on Thursday and or on the Friday, and let you know how the rest of this week went.
see you sooner. At about one o'clock, that's when the magic started to happen. I started getting calls, and uh, oh, it was amazing. One call after another, pretty much. And now I'm heading back from the airport back into town. So uh, you never know, it could be the depths of despair and it all turned around to be a pretty good night. Anyways, uh, that was it for Wednesday. And uh, yeah, I, I took hookers to the uh, to their Johns. I took, uh, took a lot of people a lot of places. Anyway, this is a bit dangerous with this bright light shining in my face while I'm driving on this dark highway. So, uh, goodbye. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Well, it's uh, 5.30 in the morning. And uh, this one was also looking kind of scary in that I didn't think I was going to do very well. It... Uh, For Thursday night, I expected it to be, uh, well, it was slow to begin with, and then it was slow till, well, I guess about 1.30 I was sitting in the parking lot, and I got sent to the Red Lion, actually the Red Fox, which is the peeler bar at the Red Lion. And uh, so I picked up there, and the uh, the young couple went out to the uh, Western Communities, a place called Belmont Park, and uh, that was good for twenty five dollars, which put me into the profit mode rather than. The uh, owing money mode. So that worked out okay. And then then uh, I did rather well after that and made another five dollars or so just doing calls just getting lucky and having calls that were you know in the 15 or 20 dollar range and so now I've had enough I'm going to go to the car wash I'm going to clean out the mats and vacuum out the rug and wash the car and bring it back and fill it fuel it up and uh that's it. One more night to go after this one, the Friday night, and usually that one's a little busier. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll get back to you in about 24 hours and let you know right here what's going on. Hopefully you can see me. The light didn't come on this time on the phone, but that's because there was enough light when I started recording, so hopefully this will record okay. We'll find out. And the car wash is right here. Uh, I got these little speed bumps everywhere. <laughs> I kind of expected that to happen. Here we are at the car wash. They've got uh, vacuums. So this is going to be my first stop at the vacuum to vacuum out all the crap that's on the underneath the mats. And then over there are the wash stalls where you drive the car in and wash it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Talk to you sooner. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? That is the sound of the sleet falling on the car from outside. And it's uh it's sleet and 
snow and holy shit, it's coming down really good. Huh. What a crazy morning I'm having. I'll tell you all about it. Oh man, I'm having trouble getting traction on this stuff. What a crazy one. The night was going good. Uh, it was going steady and it was going all right. And I picked up... Uh, I had a few good fares. I did all right. And then I sat in the parking lot for a few minutes to have a breather. And then I got sent to the Hotel Z. Now, Z is like a hotel. Uh, anyway, got sent to the Hotel Z to pick up a fare. And I called the phone number, expecting a girl to answer because the name was Jenny. And uh, it was a guy who answered, and I thought that was a little off putting. And then I uh, talked to him, and he said, Do you see the security guard? ahead of you underneath the breezeway with the uh, um, reflectors on his arm? I say, yeah. He said, that's me. You're talking to me. I say, oh, good. Okay, fine. He said, she's back here. So she's back there. And uh, I went back there. And... Uh, They were picking this girl up off the ground. She was uh, she was so drunk that uh, she was, she had been blacked out uh, on the pavement. And uh, the security guard said she lives in Duncan. And then they hand me a phone to talk to, and I'm talking on this phone to uh, to some guy in Duncan who's saying, please bring my wife home. He said, don't worry, we'll pay you and everything will be fine. And then, uh, so she's crying all the way out to Duncan. She's crying and she's all emotional and she's, I'm such a mess, uh, my heart is broken. And, oh, <laughs> you know, crying all the way out to Duncan. Now, I don't like to hear that, that's just bullshit. But anyway, I told her, look, you know, everything's going to be fine. We're going to meet up with Johnny. Everything's going to be okay. Johnny's going to come and see us. Yeah, we're going to go see Johnny. We're going to meet up with Johnny. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to go home. But Johnny's her husband, by the way. I had just talked to him, so I know, knew who he was and, and everything. And so we're, uh, we're motoring out to Duncan, and uh, about uh, a minute before we meet up with him, he, uh, he calls on the phone and tells me uh, that he's at the Super 8 Hotel in Duncan and uh, just pull in the park driveway there and, uh, and that's it. So the fare was $113.95. He handed me three fifties and said, thank you very much for bringing my wife home safe. That was just grand. So $113. $150 for, you know, grand total time it took me to take her out there and drive back, hour and a half. So $150 for, it was $100 an hour basically for my time and driving her out there and stuff. And that was just great and grand. So now it's about 10 minutes. I just had another fare. I took this guy home. It was like a $25 fare or something like that. Uh, on top of everything else. So I'm I'm at about the $400 mark now, and it's uh, 10 minutes to 3. <laughs> yeah, lovely. I like it when it works that way. So now I'm heading back towards my favorite part of town. It should be fairly relaxed now that it's almost 3 o'clock. Uh, I had one drunk, one really bad drunk in my car, and you know, she was she was saying, well, where are we going? We're going the wrong way. I said, no, you live in Duncan, right? She says, yeah. I said, well, we started in Victoria and we're going to Duncan. So we're between Victoria and Duncan and we're heading to Duncan. And that's where you live, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So we got her home to Duncan and everything worked out just fine. And you know, I'm getting kind of used to driving in the dark 
with this bright light shining right in my face. I can still see the reflectors on the road. And there's no other traffic at this hour. And uh, it's all good. I think we're we're done with that uh, little uh, that little sleet or hail squall that we had right there. <laughs> little ice crystals landing on the car going splat, 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 splat. Okay, well, three hours left to go. Um, I may get back to you at the end if anything really memorable happens, okay? So talk to you soon. Or if not, you know, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, here we are. It's just about the end of the night. I'm going to park it. I've washed it. I've added up my paperwork. I've fueled it. Now I'm just going to park it. It worked out pretty good. I did, uh, I had a reasonably good night for a Friday in January. I guess that ends the month with a bang. Uh, and it uh, turned out okay. I've got enough money to do the things I want to do this weekend. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll uh, just take this corner here and uh, park this taxi. I still have trouble seeing uh, with this light in my face. Hope yours is better than mine.